First of all, I'm sorry for my amazing makeup because it is like almost on for 8 hours but don't worry, we'll be erasing them today Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Regina Huang Don't worry, today it will be a review video If you're not seeing this, today I'll be reviewing this tree micellar water I've been seeing the commercial that uh, there are so many micellar water um, I have the L'Oreal and Garnier one here but I also have the Nivea but this one is not the micellar water one I tried to find it but I cannot so I ended up me uh, buying the makeup cleaner one and I just know that there is so many micellar water now like the Maybelline one uh, it is pretty much uh, expensive and I'm just a cheap person so I hope that you can decide like which micellar water that you should go because reviews are really helping cheap person like me it's kind of sad like when you buy something with your money and you have like high expectation to it but it ended up disappointing so it's just like a waste of money so uh, yeah, I can only hope that this will help you. So I already swatched uh, This one is kind of in a weird position Because oh, when I am doing this They're aligned, but when I'm doing this and showing it to the camera like Cannot see it properly um, So these are lipsticks in eyeliner and then mascara that is super uh, long lasting especially the lipsticks I break a lipstick for this video and this one is a lipstick from lip hop sorry it's a lip, lip tint and this one is a lipstick from uh, mood matcha the twin one and then this one is uh, a lip cream from Warda and these are just two random things this is eyeliner from the body shop and then this mascara is from NYX uh, so I'm gonna use this three to erase them and see which one like works the best so uh, this one is from Garnier they have like two versions of this the one with pink and then the one with tinted blue uh, top but um, this one is for sensitive skin and the other one is for all skin type even though uh, even though if you have like sensitive skin you can also use the blue one I don't understand why they have like add red and the blue one when the sensitive skin one can also use the blue one so the L'Oreal one have like two versions too the one with pink and then the one with blue cap and the pink one is for moisturizing even for sensitive skin and the blue one is for uh, all skin types as for the Nivea one as I told you this is not the micellar water but I am using any but I will be using it anyway because it also do the same job so like which one of the three will be doing the best in uh, you're bracing these because as I told you they are super long lasting and it is very hard to remove them and as a highlight I will be erasing my makeup also but just with these two miso water so now let's start with the Garnier one I'll use a face cotton for it It smells kind of weird. Actually, actually, I used like a bottle of this Garnier because it is like super cheap. It only costs like a um forty thousand for one bottle, I think. So this is how it looks like. It is clear because it is made from water and you can see the expired date here and and behind you can see there are a function and their ingredients 
uh, first I'll do like one swipe for everything so now I'll be erasing this one with the garnier that I already put in a piece of cotton in one swipe and see what it does oh okay can you see that it do a pretty amazing job on the eyeliner and then on the mascara but it is not on the lipsticks as I told you these lipsticks rocks now I'll be using the L'Oreal one I've never used the L'Oreal one before mm, I cannot smell a thing Oh, this one is pretty wet compared to the Garnier one. I mean, I only put like some, but oh, when I press it, is it literally like squeezes out from the cotton. And uh, the Garnier one has a weird smell, but this one it didn't have any smell at all. So this is how it looks like. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same clear product and behind you can see the ingredients used and also it will be lasting for six months after you are opening it. So I'll use this L'Oreal one to the this one and also in one swipe. I didn't expect that it'll be kind of uh, wait, disappointing so this one is the Garnier one and this one is the L'Oreal one and the Garnier one have like more products on it compared to the L'Oreal one but they are like uh, pretty much the same here so now it's time for the Nivea one It'll be super surprising uh, if this like doing a better job compared to the other missile water because um, at the commercial they are saying like uh, missile water is like the pros of missile water that is that you don't have to wash your face after you are using it and it will take your makeup in one swipe so you don't have to do much job and less product but. I'm sorry to tell you it's all a lie. Um, oh, the Nivea one. Oh my. Uh, the Nivea one have a flowery smell. <laughs> I don't know. It's and uh, compared to the other two, this is more. Uh, it's like a water, but it's kind of have like the a gel consistency even though it's not that I don't know how to say it so this is how the Nivea one looks like a uh, same transparent bottle and behind you can also see the ingredients but there is no uh, period date in this so like the other three I'll be using this cotton to wipe it in one why I'm using like the same amount of pressure by the way I don't think that they have that much different like can you see any difference because I cannot but in terms of clearance this like uh, the Nivea one and then the L'Oreal one like smudge uh, wait it's like smudge here and then here but the Garnier one it didn't smudge this this is there from the start now I'll be using like the back side like uh, at which number these makeups will be gone uh, let's start with the Garnier one Oh, it hurts. How can every beauty blogger like do this thing? 
I think that is the best that I can do. I can still see the lip hop lip tint. So now we'll be moving on to the L'Oreal one. Okay, so this is like the best that I can do. I can see that the L'Oreal one is doing a better job than the Garnier one, I think. But there is not much a difference though. Okay, last. The Nivea one. Okay, I think this is the best that I can do. So looking at my hand, they are like looking pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, we you can see that from this, like the L'Oreal one. Oh, the L'Oreal one, like definitely doing the best job for this. Oh my god, I'm super tired from all that hand hanging. What should I say? They are like pretty much doing the same thing. Um, price wise, uh, the Guardian one spends like fifty thousand. The L'Oreal one spends um one about one hundred per bottle. Um, the Guardian one is like one hundred and twenty-five milliliter, but the L'Oreal one like is like uh, two hundred and fifty milliliter. The Nivea one is. About thirty thousand, and it is like to in two hundred milliliter. Looking at this price wise, I'll be buying Nivea one. Um, but if you have more money, I do think that you should get the L'Oreal one. So now I'll be using new cotton. Oh, I ripped it off. So now I'll be using this new cotton and then for the Garnier one I'll be clearing this side of my face and for the L'Oreal one I will be clearing this side of my face. Oh can you see my panda eyes? Oh my god it's cute. You know what? In these past days, I'm like sleeping for only five hours, and on Friday, I actually didn't sleep at all. Yeah, so it's kind of a disaster, and I didn't want to do that again. No. Oh, my skin is such a mess. Can you see all that BB cushion on it? The L'Oreal one is actually kind of heavy if you want to bring the whole barrel. Uh, I think I'll be using my travel kit barrel if I ever want to bring it with me. And I actually try to open the Guardian one, it's it, but it is super hard, don't even try. Uh, when I realized the uh, I'm using like two sides of the Guardian one like to wipe my whole um, red face but I'm, I'm, oh, but I'm only using like one side of the L'Oreal one and my face is like already cleared up but my eyeliner is still there though oh it kind of stings when it gets to your eyes, so you have to be careful. Ta-da! You can see my shitty face now. I'm not very impressed with the Misla water. They do have like a very interesting advertisement like, In one swipe, you'll use your whole makeup. And after using it, it is definitely like not uh, sticky or anything like that. Uh, but there's a like 
you're saying like you don't have to wash your face after you are using it but uh, it'll be itchy and I don't want to start my skincare without washing my face I do think that this mineral water is good for you that like, that is too lazy to wash your makeup but they like can't erase the lip hoplet tint they all work pretty much the same but price wise if I have to use like the if I have to choose like the L'Oreal one or the Garnier one, I think I'll be choosing the Garnier one. I mean, and there's not so much different in how they work. They are just like the same thing. Also, in terms on the smell, I think I'll have to choose the Nivea one because it has like um somewhat pleasant smell. But you you have to be careful like how many uh like how many products you'll put on your facial cotton because when you put like too much and then when you squeeze it it is literally like seeping out from your cotton and it'll be really dangerous if it got through your eyes and it hurts. And I do that a lot. Once again, price wise, this is not worth it but i just suggest you buy them considering on your budget so if you have more money buy the more expensive one so let's wrap it now thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you want me like to review on other products just leave the comments down below and i will check my bank accounts if i can buy them or not and if you are not make sure you subscribe see you on my next video bye